Well, good evening. Wonky Astronomer here. Well, you know what gets me excited? Leap seconds. That's right. At the end of 2016, they are inserting a leap second to take into account the fact that the Earth's rotation is slowing down a bit. And it's now about 10.45 a.m. on the 1st of January 2017 here in the Eastern Australian Daylight Saving time zone. And that means that it's still 2016 Universal Time, or GMT. And at 23.59.59 Universal Time, there will be an extra second inserted. And the clock should say 23.59.60. Because that last minute of 2016 will have 61 seconds instead of 60 seconds. So I'm going to monitor what happens on various timekeeping services. See how they handle the, uh, the leap second. Will they do it correctly? We'll see. So what I've got here is I've got two iPads running two different NTP apps. NTP is Network Time Protocol. So they uh, get their time from atomic clocks via the internet. They're fairly accurate, but of course there's uh, delays in the network, so you know, they can be a little bit off, although they do... Uh, take that into account, but nevertheless they're not, they're not perfect. And then I've got a GPS here. This is a device that I use for uh, astronomical timing work. It's sending a video signal to this computer. The time is displayed on the screen here. So this is telling me that it's got a fix on seven or eight satellites. And there's the time displayed there. This is milliseconds. We won't worry too much about that. And these apps here, this one is called Emerald Time, and this one is Time.is. And here in Australia we also have a speaking clock service, which is a phone service. You call a number and a, uh, an automated voice tells you the time. That's based on an atomic clock as well, so it's fairly accurate. But of course there are delays in the phone system, so it's a little bit behind. But it will be interesting to see how it handles the leap second. Ten minutes to go. Very exciting. At the third stroke, it will be ten, fifty, nine, and thirty seconds. At the third stroke, it will be ten, fifty, nine, and forty seconds. Well, there you have it, the leap second. I'll have to review the recordings to see exactly what happened, but um, it looks to me, on a first, uh, you know, as I watched it live, that uh, all of them handle it correctly except for time.is, which is the uh, NTP app. The other NTP app seemed to work correctly, and the GPS did, and the uh, even the speaking clock. Seem to get it right. There was a, a little delay there before the uh, before the last beep. I think. I think that's what happened. Well, about 10 minutes after the leap second was inserted, time.is was still a second out. So I quit the app and restarted it, and then it was correct. So it must be that it, it wasn't automatically synchronizing with, it, with the uh, time server.
perhaps that's just a setting in the app that I, I had wrong. Not sure about that. Or maybe that's just the way it works. Well, there you have it. The Leap Second. I hope you remembered to put your clocks back.